Hey guys, welcome back. I'm doing kind of a special video because I feel like a lot of people are kind of considering this rally more than just a bear rally lasting a couple of days, right? So I wanted to kind of make a video of kind of you know emphasizing my points and why I still feel strongly that the market has one more leg to the downside. And yeah, so you can pretty much see that this entire downtrend move from, you know, the middle of August has been supported by this channel acting as support. And this channel acting as resistance, you can see any move that's been made out of this channel has just been a bear trap that's been gone lower. And you can see overnight that the futures have almost pushed to the top of this channel. I'd say a little more room to the upside, right? And yeah, so again, that's just one key point I wanted to make right you can see this is very clearly an expanded flat where this is b this is your c right it's clearly an expanded flat and this expanded flat can kind of be seen in the russell right because the russell over here did not break its lows you can very clearly see the russell here is a three wave chart pattern right kind of indicating right the russell i kind of should have noticed this yesterday right that the russell didn't break its lows and it was kind of indicative of a rally coming up in, you know, the chart. So that is kind of my, you know, broader point is that the Russell clearly showed you this is a three wave structure, which, you know, right, the market generally doesn't bottom on a three wave structure. It generally indicates this one more room, you know, to the downside, which is why, again, the same can be kind of observed in NQ. Right, you can very clearly see that again, this is your one, two, your three, four. I still have this named as an expanded flat, right? Where this is your A, this is your B, this is your C. I'm still again looking for this trend line to tag, right? What is this trend line? This is the trend line that's pretty much indicated every major, you know, bear rally kind of bottom. Obviously, here, right? You could also say that hey, it didn't, you know, it didn't tag this trend line here, right? But you can also see if I drew another trend line, right, kind of supporting this previous bear rally, you can see that also has a little more room to the downside. So yeah, that is why I still firmly believe, right, this is an expanded flat. I would say at the most today will be green. I still highly think that we have a fifth wave to the downside, right? The Dow is probably the only index, right? If I go to the daily chart of Dow, you'll be able to see that the Dow is probably the only index that has actually tagged its trend line, right? You can see, but even that, right? It's not a perfect tag, still has a little more downside room, which means again, whatever I've told you, right? You can again, probably see if I fib it, right? This entire move is an ABC in an expanded flat, right? Where this is your wave one, this is your wave three, wave four, with a wave five coming down to tag the bottom of this, right? And how do I know if this is an expanded flat? You can just fib it, right? You can very clearly see if it was a fifth wave, you tend to have selling like this, not, not selling like this, right? You can clearly see that this confirms, right? To an ABC fib requirement, which is, you know, again, Russell didn't break its lows, right? And the market also, you can see as a result of which went higher, right with the wrestle which means that you know in the bigger picture scheme of things you know we can see that russell hasn't broken its june lows right if i go to the daily chart of russell you'll be able to see that it's not broken its june lows and all the other indexes have broken that lows and which generally tends to you know mean that russell will follow through right before the market can bottom all the indexes tend to follow each other not always but i've been watching this for a long time and 90 percent of the time they tend to you know break that previous low so which is all the reasons why again i'm still looking for that you know that tag of this trend line right you can see and on the es especially every major you know bear mark again i'm still right i'm still bullish into year end i still think that the market could you know push higher into your end right but i'm still looking for this tag of this trend line right which would kind of solidify that and you and you can kind of see that even on spy right not just on the features you can kind of see this is where the trend line is and it's very clearly right it's very clearly this is your three a b c right with the fifth wave lower i'm looking for that tag on that on spy i'm looking for a tag on qqq Right, where the CO one, two, your three, four, your fifth wave into this 1.272 fib with a C wave higher. Again, whatever I'm showing you is kind of the 
bull case, right? So this is what I have for the bull case. And if I was bearish, right, let me remove this. Even in the bear case, you can clearly see this is your one, two, this is your wave three, your wave four with the wave five lower. So even the bear case is a highly probable short, right? into much deeper numbers. I'd say if you were bearish, it'd probably go like 240s or something on the Qs. But if you were bullish, right, I'd look for this momentum to, you know, kind of stall at 254. It's kind of my broader thinking on the market. And I'm still, again, I don't like the way it VIX, but I just like to keep track of it, right? And you can clearly see this is previous area of resistance and Wix is not really broken 29, right? As long as it stays over 28, 29, I still see Wix going higher to test, you know, 35 to 38. Again, if you go to the 10 year that I posted yesterday, I have stated that, you know, I'm still looking for 10 year to tag the top of the channel and clearly has one more fifth wave to the upside. The dollar is a little more iffy, right? This is where I had my major resistance on dollars. So again, I don't really expect the, you know, I don't really expect the dollar to go have that higher upside, but I wouldn't be shocked, right? This was such a minor wave two that this entire move up could be a three four five but i don't really i don't think the dollar is gonna go higher what i think the dollar could do is this is your a wave right b wave and c waves it's kind of what i'm watching on the dollar the dollar so far has been supportive of this you know bull move up but yeah that's kind of my broader thesis on the market right I have very clearly, right, for me personally, this is just a bear rally, right? I could definitely see it push a little more higher, right? You can see that the Russell is clearly a three-wave structure, which, again, a lot of stocks, right? Not just the Russell. If I go to Bitcoin, for example, you can see that we are pretty much, right? Let me draw this channel. You can see this is one channel. This is another channel. This is clearly a bear flag, right? This is not a very, you can see if you are bullish, you tend to have this kind of momentum. If you are bearish, you tend to have this kind of momentum before another leg like, lower. So yeah, I, I do think that, you know, Bitcoin as an index is also indicating it testing this, you know, break this previous low before it goes higher. And yeah, a lot of the times Bitcoin and SPY tend to follow each other, right? Which could prove another one of my reasonings so yeah bigger picture that is kind of watching i am looking for you know the low to kind of break right before i think that it's say for a longer test of this fib level or this channel right would probably be a higher probability long so yeah i just wanted to make a video on that i'm still firmly on the side of this is a bear market rally with more one more leg down and you can kind of look at it right it would be at least a 7% move to the downside, which would hurt a lot of people, which is kind of why I wanted to make this video. So yeah, that is just my opinion, right? And you would want probably ask me, hey, what level would you consider otherwise? Let's say 3850, right? If the market can somehow break over 3850 and not end up being a bear, bear, bear case, right? And then I'd consider my thesis proven wrong. But I'm still looking for a lower tag, right? I definitely don't think the bottom is in yet. So yeah, thank you so much. Have a great day.